as you can see, this morning I'm back at Moraine Lake. And I bet you're pretty sick of seeing this place by now on my channel, but just bear with me. You might be able to tell by the light behind me just kissing these peaks that I'm actually here before sunrise. And in most years, that's not that big a deal. But now the road is closed and the Parks Canada shuttles don't start until 6 a.m. And I didn't cycle here this morning. So there are ways you can get here for sunrise if you want to get here for a long hike or for some photography. And here are a couple of the best options. The first being Moraine Lake Bus Company. Started by a local couple, their modern 24-seater buses pick you up from the Samsung Mall in Lake Louise. As part of the deal, you'll have access to free all-day parking at Lake Louise, which to be honest is very hard to come by and very useful if you choose to add on the Lake Louise stop as part of your shuttle. Along that, you'll also get a very knowledgeable driver. Once at Moraine Lake, you'll be treated to hot coffee and fresh pastries. A perfect way to start the day. Off the bus is a short walk up the rock pile where you can take your seat and plenty of time for sunrise. And I mean, could there ever be a better view to enjoy with your morning coffee? Whilst I'm here though and the light's really good, I am going to grab a quick picture. I've actually found this little location I've never shot at from before. And I'll show you what I've got on my camera right now. Kind of as you can see from here, I've actually found this spot, kind of an opening in the trees where I've got a tree on each side and also the kind of rocks framing the reflection at the bottom. I've never actually seen this little composition before and I think it works really well, but I'm gonna pop on a variable neutral density filter just because that's what I have. I think it goes up to nine stops so I can try and smooth out this reflection a little bit. You can see now like the winds come up already even though the sun's not up properly quite yet. And it's really rippled that lake, which is quite early for here to be honest, but I think the long exposure will uh, help smooth that out. So at ISO 100 and F11, that's giving me my 30 second exposure. That's kind of as long as I can do without having a timer remote. So I think that will smooth out the water pretty nicely. I've got a two second timer on, so let's see how that looks. I'm actually pretty happy with how that's turned out, to be honest. Like I said, I've never shot this composition before, so I'm pretty stoked I've managed to find something new to me, even though this is obviously probably the 15th, 20th time I've been to Moraine Lake. But one thing you might better see from the back of the camera here is you can see this black flash here means that that section is overexposed. So what I'll be doing is shooting a couple of brackets of different exposures just to make sure I get all the information I need and later on I can blend those together. Due to the flexible return time the Rain Lake Bus Company provide, after you've grabbed those Instagram worthy shots, you'll have as much time as you need to take in any trails that may take your fancy. There are plenty of great hikes around here. You've got the Larch Valley behind us. You've got Constellation Lakes just down that way, which is only a short walk, or you can walk all the way around the lake edge just behind me. Secondly, Moraine Lake Sunrise Shuttles, run by a local photographer and his partner. Now this shuttle provides hotel pickups from Banff, Lake Louise, and even Canmore. And in my case this morning, from the Moose Hotel on Banff Avenue. You can simply sit back, relax, and even take a nap and save yourself some driving as the shuttle brings you up to Moraine. Perfect if you don't have your own car. Once again, on arrival, you're treated to coffee or hot chocolate. They also provide head torches or blankets if you need them. Perfect for a chilly mountain morning.
And again, another hot drink to start the day. I have to admit that these new shuttles that come into Moraine Lake make for a much more pleasant experience than what getting to Moraine Lake has been recently. There's no battling with the car park at 1am, sleeping in your car for three hours, waiting for the sun to come up. No, let someone else drive you here, give you a hot chocolate, give you a blanket, and then all you have to do is concentrate on enjoying the view. Moraine Lake Sunrise Shuttles get you to the lake in plenty of time for sunrise and provide you with two hours at the lake. Perfect for photographing those impressive peaks from the rock pile in the ever-changing light. You'll also have just about enough time to sort out a few different compositions. Like heading around the side of the lake and using those famous canoes to add a splash of colour before returning home. I'd say that those two shuttle options are probably some of the best that I've come across whilst trying to do a bit of research about how to get here now. And both of those are locally owned and operated and both get you here in plenty of time for sunrise. Moraine Lake Bus Company is a great option if you want to get here for sunrise as well as spend a bit more time in the area doing some of the hikes. You get a flexible return time as well as that really good all day parking option in Lake Louise. Moraine Lake Sunrise Shuttles is probably a little bit more photography based I suppose and the departure time actually changes to keep in line with the sunrise as the year goes on. You get about two hours at the lake before returning, uh, but I mean, with pickups in Canmore, Banff and Lake Louise, it's ideal if you don't have a car or if you just wanna have a nap on the way, to be honest. But either way, I've left links in the description below to both of those, so check them out, see what you think. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me and also motivates me to make more videos in the future. I hope you found this one useful and I will see you on the next one.